Well, it has been a hell of a week for musicians' birthdays, including Ezra Koenig of Vampire Weekend. Fame? We're going to play a song from modern vampires of the city called Step, which was inspired by a song called Step to My Girl by Souls of Mischief, which included a sample from Grover Washington Jr.'s recording of Aubrey, which was originally recorded by the band Bread. I'm pretty sure that makes Vampire Weekend Step my favorite song ever inspired by a sample of a cover of a song by Bread. Touche, Ezra Koenig. And happy birthday. Mm -hmm. Every time I see you in the world, you always step to my girl. I used to front like Inca Watt, Mechanicsburg, Anchorage, and Dar es Salaam. While home in New York with champagne and disco tapes from LA slash San Francisco. But actually, Oakland and not Alameda. Your girl was in Berkeley with a communist reader. Mine was in tune with a boombox and Walkman. I was a hoard of a girl I was back then. Gloves are off, the wisdom teeth are off. What you on about? I feel it in my bones. I feel it in my bones. I'm stronger now. I'm ready for the house. Such a mind as mouse. I can't do it alone. I can't do it alone. Every time I see you in the world, you always step to my girl. Happy birthday, Ezra. Speaking of ooh, ooh, Loretta Lynn. Loretta Lynn, the coal miner's daughter. Born in Butcher Hollow, Kentucky. Married at age 15. Taught herself to play the guitar shortly thereafter. Had six kids and broke so much ground as a songwriter that nine of her songs were banned from country radio. She still sold 48 million albums, wrote an autobiography that became an Academy Award-winning film, got a Presidential Medal of Freedom, inspired generations of songwriters, and is working to this day. Here's the great Loretta Lynn's Don't Come Home A-Drinkin' With Lovin' On Your Mind. Cunningham, along with Chris Eldridge on pedal steelish guitar, wishing Loretta Lynn a happy birthday. Hey, it was Herbie Hancock's birthday this week. Herbie Hancock, one of music's most intrepid explorers. My intro to, intro to Herbie came via the Murray State University pep band, who used to play chameleon at the basketball games. They, they asked me to sit in with them on mandolin once, so I plugged into the second channel of the bass amp, and, you know, it was... Just... 
Like I said, they only asked once. <laughs> Herbie's eagerness to experiment with the width and breadth of the materials available to us as musicians makes him a particular hero of ours, and we'd like to wish Herbie a happy 79th birthday with his classic Watermelon Man. The secret wizard himself, Mike Elizondo. Happy birthday, Kirby Player Show. Oh, hey now, Anais Mitchell. Anais Mitchell, one of my favorite living songwriters who, for starters, wrote the evening length song cycle Hades Town, which a buddy of mine lent me on CD back in 2010. As of a couple weeks ago, Hades Town has become a full-blown Broadway production, playing just around the corner from here at the Walter Kerr Theater. By the way, the fact that Aeneas is one of our birthday celebrants and that Hades Town is a sponsor of this episode of Live From Here is a total coincidence <laughs> that I found out about right before we went on the air when I was told I had to issue this legal disclaimer to comply with FCC regulations. <laughs> crazy when your friends get so famous you can't wish them a happy birthday without the feds getting involved. <laughs> so, uh, if you're listening, fellas, this one isn't from Hades Town. It's from another Mitchell masterpiece, Young Man in America. Here's Coming Down. <clears throat> Thank you. 
One more time, Madison Cunningham. Happy birthday, Anais, we love you. Oh man, Steve Gadd, Steve Gadd, legendary drummer, Steve Gadd, a god among we music geeks. We refer to him in the hushed, reverent tones reserved for great drummers. Why drummers? Why drummers and not, say, mandolinists? Maybe it's because they're often in charge of the part of music that makes us dance. Gad has played with everyone from Sinatra to McCartney to Chet Baker, Chick Corea, James Taylor, Steely Dan, and I defy you to listen to this groove that he wrote for Paul Simon, a groove you've heard a hundred times before and not dance right there in your seat. Lay it on us, Teddy. said to me, the answer is easy if you take it logically. I'd like to help you in your struggle to be free. There must be 50 ways to leave your lover. She said it's really not my habit to intrude, and furthermore, I hope my meaning won't be lost and misconstrued. But I'll repeat myself at the risk of being crude. Must be 50 ways to leave your lover 50 ways to leave your lover You just slip out back, Jack I'm making new plans, Stan Don't need to be coy, Roy Or just get yourself free Hop on the bus, Gus You don't need to discuss much Just chop off the key, leave And get yourself free Ooh, slip out the back Jack, make a new plan, Stan. I don't need to be caught, Lord. You just listen to me. Hop on the bus, Gus. Don't need to discuss much. Just chop off the key, leave, and get yourself free. She said it grieves me so to see you in such pain. I wish there was something I could do make you smile again I said I appreciate that but would you please explain about the 50 ways she said why don't we both just sleep it off tonight and I believe that in the morning you begin to see the light and then she kissed me and I realized she probably was right there must be 50 ways to leave your lover 50 ways to leave your lover You just slip out the back, Jack I'm making new plans, Stan Don't need to be caught, Roy Just get yourself free Oh, you hop on the bus, Gus Don't need to discuss much Just chop off the key, leave and Get yourself free Or just slip out the back, Jack I'm making new plans, Stan Don't need to be caught, Roy just listen to me Oh, hop on the bus, Gus You don't need to discuss much Just jump off the key And get yourself free Oh, just luxuriate in it The one and only Ted Poor as Steve Gadd.